emotional pain, all right? Let's talk about it. Most of our emotional pain, and the one I'm specifically talking about is the one that comes from a relationship, a significant other, somebody you like. And so how do we deal with that pain that we have of something not working out? So when something that you wanted to work out didn't work out, you're gonna always feel this pain. And that pain comes from the expectations, right? You and I expected this thing to work. We expected something beautiful, something to work out, and unfortunately something happened that either you did, they did, whatever it might be, it didn't work. And so now we're left with this feeling of shoulda, coulda, woulda. We're left with the feeling of what, what could I have done better? What should I have done better? What could I have done better? But if we sit too long there, we're gonna miss the moment that we're living in now. And we're not gonna set ourselves up to act better. So when, we, when you stay in that emotional pain, you will try to solve it differently. Let me, let me rephrase that. The emotional pain is not a bad thing. It's how we handle it. Now, when you're feeling down, it's so easy to turn to something that's gonna make you feel much better, all right? For me, it might be other women. You might tr try going to different girls and things like that, or you might just sit and play a bunch of video games. You might sit and eat a bunch of food. You might, you might just do what I do, go for a bunch of women as well. Like, what I wanna say is, the pain that you're feeling right now is also an opportunity. And I know, I know, it might not feel like an opportunity. You're just like, I just fucking want this shit to go away. And I get it. But we can't dismiss what is ultimately going to help us grow. This doesn't always come, right? You're not hurt every day. You don't feel this emotional pain every day, right? Like, I can inflict adversity on myself with my wake-up time, my, my meals, my workouts, my job. But sometimes it's emotional pain. You don't, you don't in, in, intend to cause emotional pain to yourself. Like you don't try to go into a relationship and then be like, I'm gonna fucking cut it off and I'm gonna hurt myself. No, but you can do that with your workouts. It's gonna happen with business. You know, it's gonna happen with your wake up time, your meals, you know, you, you put yourself in a calorie deficit, you know. But when it comes to these emotional pains, you don't really have full control of them. You can try your best to make this thing work, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then you're left with this feeling of like, ah, you know? And so recently, I, just yesterday actually, I was watching the sunset and there was this girl uh, next to me. We got to talking and she's like, yeah, I'm just dealing with a breakup right now. And I'm like, I get it. I'm kind of dealing with my own thing right now. And she's like, yeah, it just wasn't working out. I kind of fell for him. You know, it, she had a lot of expectations and things like that and it didn't go her way. And she's reflecting, she's, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. I'm like, good. Like, take this time she doesn't work out either i'm like take this time to better yourself take this time to put more time and effort into yourself and honestly we got into a little debate she's like yeah but it's not really my lifestyle i don't really work out it's just not my lifestyle and i'm like and her relationships haven't been good i'm like look your value as a person is highly dependent on how how much effort you put into yourself if you want higher standards you first must raise your own level of standards for who you are and what you accept from your own self. And I, and I break it down this way. If you don't, if these are your standards, right? These are the bare minimum. You don't really work out. You don't really eat well. You work and you have some sort of level of education. Here are your standards. So if somebody comes along and treats you just as good as you treat yourself, then you're okay with that, right? And that's where you meet this person that they slowly don't think then you start liking them and then they lower theirs and then you lower your standards a little bit they start treating you like shit they start not being as nice and you accept it because you like them because they met you here right now i told her i'm like the only way for you to meet someone who's going to treat you really good and accept that is by you raising your own level of standards so you have to raise your standards of how much you take care of yourself let me explain that if you work out 
you raise your standards because now you're investing more time and energy into yourself. Like, hey, I work out, I take care of my body. Now you start eating a certain way. Now you're investing more time into cooking, into really putting into your body things that are gonna make you look better and feel better, right? Then you start really focusing on your career and what you really like. So now your you, you're, you're, you're standards for your own self, how you treat yourself are higher than before. So now that your standards are here, anytime somebody comes into your life, number one, if they don't treat you as good as you, as you treat yourself, you're gonna realize that. Because it's like, wait a minute, I treat myself this good. These are my standards for myself. Why am I gonna allow someone to treat me less than how I treat myself? Now, there are situations where some people literally are with people who are treated like shit, even though they have high standards, but they don't have high self-esteem. That's the difference. Even though they raise their standards for themselves, they don't feel that they're worthy to be treated better. And that self-esteem comes from self-worth. Setting boundaries, saying no. If you say yes to everybody, you're saying no to yourself. And so, as you go through this emotional pain, it's, a, it's an opportunity for you to raise your level of standards for yourself. In my situation, I learned something didn't work out and then I learned that I wasn't putting enough effort into, into, a, into this relationship. And it wasn't really a relationship, but into this, something that was becoming a relationship. I really wasn't putting as much effort. I, I, I made a mistake and I wasn't willing to own up to the mistake. And that's me being real with you. I wasn't really, because I didn't think I did anything wrong. And then it wasn't until I started talking to like my brother and he's like, Alex, I'll be honest with you. You haven't really put much effort into a relationship. Like you expect some women to like either come after you. And that's just not the case sometimes, especially when you have a, a good woman. It's like you have to put in work. And then I realized I wasn't putting in work. I wasn't willing to either apologize or do something because my ego, my ego got the best of me. And so I realized that that comes from my past because here's, here's the truth. Whenever I see myself putting effort into a really good relationship, there's always that risk of it not working out. And in my past, a lot of my relationships that I really fell for didn't work out. And so I have this fucking fear of like, I'm gonna put all this fucking effort and if it doesn't fucking work out, there goes my heart again. There goes my fucking heart again. And I just don't wanna go through that again. But it's me being a little bitch. And so we live and we learn. And so you, I can't live with a closed heart and neither can you. So as you go through this emotional pain, this is what I've learned from this pain. Because of my fear, it also can cost me something. You know, you're gonna fucking lose if you fucking live in fear. And you're gonna lose if you don't give it your all. So you might as well fucking have courage and give it your all, fuck it, all right? Take this as an opportunity to learn. Learn the lesson. We learn from what, we go, we go through what we learn, we learn from what we go through, okay? Much love.